Hey guys, um, so I feel like I haven't sat down in front of the camera in so long. This is very weird. Um, but I am going to do my spring book haul. Um, so I keep like going back and forth on like how I want to be doing book hauls and stuff. And so I decided I'm just going to do like quarterly book hauls. Um, but then I decided that I really, really like like the TBR, like balance, like balancing the books, TBR, you know, kind of like comparison videos, um, for each month, like, you know, so basically like what comes in, what goes out, etc. So I am going to start doing those starting now in June, but I, you know, didn't do that then. So these are the books that I purchased in April and May. Um, but with the caveat that these are not all the books that I bought, unfortunately, um, I only like show off, you know, I only like present a book in a book haul if it's something that I haven't read. So I also bought books for like Book Two Prize and other things and stuff, but I've read them already. So I don't count them. Um, so I guess let's start with April. Uh, so the first book that I have is um, The Alice Network by Kate Quinn. Um, and actually my friend sent this to me. Um, so he read this and really liked it and sent it to me. I don't think that this is like my typical kind of book. I feel like I'm having some flashbacks. Like I might have already said this to you. So forgive me if I have. But um, yeah, this is a, you know, it's a, it's World War One, I, I think, uh, historical fiction. So we'll see. Um, I, you know, I've recommended a lot of things to my friend, like The Wasp Factory and Out and, you know, things of that nature. So I feel like this is like a totally different genre, but um, I assume it'll be fine. Um, then I've got my two books from my um, subscription services. The first one is uh, My Grandmother's Braid by Alina Bronski, and this is translated by Tim Moore, and this is from the Literati, my Literati literati book club which again is like mostly just small i think it's like new releases by small presses so i i do own another book of hers broken glass park that i haven't read yet but you know just add it to the pile um and then also uh dusty answer by rosamond lehman lehman um and this is from my finney by post book club um and this is from 1927 so these ones are mostly like random picks like from the past they're not new releases obviously so yeah I have no idea what this is about I feel like it's I don't know I couldn't tell you um and then I have um two books for book clubs that I didn't read um Island Home by Tim Winton uh which is I think an Australian author and it's for the book naturalists did not read that and then um Mel's book Bookland Adventure I think that's is that her name? Bookland, Mel's Bookland Adventure? You know what I'm talking about, Mel. Um, she has a book club and so I bought the book for, you know, that and didn't read it. Um, that's Children of the New World uh, by Asiya Jabbar, Jabbar. Um, and this is translated by um, Mar Jolin de Jagger. Yep. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like I'm having a lot of flashbacks. Like I've already done this. So I'm sorry if, if this is very boring. Um, and then I have some books from Deep Vellum Publishing. I, I don't remember why this happened. <laughs> I wish I could remember, but I bought, I think, no. Yeah, I think I bought these two plus a book from Romania from this publisher. Um, I think Femme, I think that's the name of the book. I'm not sure. Anyways, this is Bride and Groom by Alyssa Gene Geneva, Geneva, Ganeva. I don't know. I'm um, translated by Carol Apollonio, Apollonio. Uh, don't know why I picked this. This is so lackluster, this book haul. I am so sorry. And the curious case of Dasukin's Trousers, um, translated by, oh, by Faud Laroy, translated by Emma Ramadan. Uh, so, oh, Morocco, a Moroccan author, so that's cool. So, uh, Russian and Moroccan authors. And then the next ones, I do know why I purchased them, ooh, uh, for Invisible Cities Project. Um, so the first one is The First Wife, um, by Paulina 
Chiziane, um, translated by David Brookshaw, and I have no idea if that's how you pronounce her name, but um, I'm gonna start reading this tomorrow because um, we are in Mozambique right now. So this is by a Mozambican author. Don't know if I'm if that's how you say it, Mozambican. Um, then I have Pearls on a Branch by, <laughs> sorry, that took me so long to find the author. Um, Najla Drysate Corey, translated by Ine. Inea Bushnak. Yep. And uh, Broken Mirrors by Elias Corre. Is that the same last name? Hmm. Um, but translated by Humphrey Davies. And these are both uh, Lebanese authors because we're going to go to Lebanon next month for Invisible Cities. I think it's next month. Lebanon's on the table. So that's why I bought those books. So those are the things from April. Um, again, technically I bought other books, but whatever. Um, and then at the end of April was Indie Bookstore Day. Um, this is my 2018 chart. Um, I did not go to Seattle. I was like really, really debating going to Seattle because, you know, vaccinated, masks, blah, blah, blah. But I just didn't want to deal with that whole thing. So next year I will for sure go, um, but I decided not to. So I did a lot of online shopping at the very end of April and those books came in the month of May. So I'm pretty sure all of these mostly are because of that. So I've got Strange Weather in Tokyo uh, by Hiromi Kawakami, translated by Allison Markin Powell. I love this cover. I'm very, 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 very excited to read this. Um, then I ordered Bright uh, by Duan Wad Pimwana, um, translated by Mui Pupo. Sakul Pupok Pupok Sakul. <laughs> this should just be titled Video where Seventy Can't Pronounce People's Names. Um, and I purchased this for Mel's book club also and didn't read that either. Uh, then I have E. Um, Rigoberta Menchu, an Indian woman in Guatemala. And um, I think this is just a memoir um, by her. Uh, and is this translated? Uh, translated by Anna Wright and this I purchased for the Reading Latines book club that I didn't read. I'm noticing a pattern. I don't know if you're also noticing that same pattern. Um, and then I purchased um, Best American Short Stories from 2020 edited by Curtis Sittenfeld. Um, some of these books I just was like I don't know what to buy from these bookstores. It's a lot harder to buy on any bookstore day when you're just like on the website because you know their books aren't like in sections and stuff. And I don't really like a lot of front list books or whatever. So anyways, uh, then I have Thirst by Amelie Notham. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly either. Um, and this is translated by Alison Anderson. Um, I read that book of hers that I really, really liked. Oh my Lord. What is the title of that book? It's not even at the front of this book. <laughs> I read one of her books, I think on DD's Dee recommendation a really long time ago. And I really liked it. Fear and loathing, fear and trembling, fear and trembling. That's what it is. Um, then I have David Grossman, a horse walks into a bar. Um, and I think this is translated to, yes, by Jessica Cohen. Um, and we are going to Israel next month as well for the invisible cities project. So that is for that. At least I'm buying books with a purpose. Kind of, I just wish I was fulfills this purpose, you know? Uh, then I have Obit by Victoria Chang. This is a poetry collection. Um, I, yeah, I think I got this. I mean, I'm sure I did from open books. Yeah. From open books in Seattle. Again, most of these books I did end up buying just from Seattle bookstores. Cause that's like just what I do on Indie Bookstore Day, um, but I am really, really looking forward to reading that. Um, this is not that, this is not that, this is not that, and then this one, you guys, have you heard of this book, Lady Joker? I have not heard of it, and it is just so beautiful. Look at this, look at this. You take off the cover, and that's underneath, it's like a, the cover is like a partially, like an opaque kind of, but like you can see through it. I don't know what that, that material is called, but I am, this is, I think my most exciting purchase that I've made um, in a while. Where did I get this from? White Whale Bookstore. Um, and this is in Pennsylvania. So I don't know what that's about. Um, but yeah, this is, I think, yeah, it's volume one. I think there's going to be two volumes and 
I am just so, so excited. I, I don't know why. I just like feel it in my bones, you know? I feel it in my bones. Um, then I purchased Dolly City by Orly Castell Bloom, and this is also for Israel for Invisible Cities project. And this is translated by Dahlia Bilu. So there's that. Um, and then I have Drawn to Berlin, and this is um, a Fantagraphics book who is a publisher and a bookstore in, um, in Seattle. Um, so comic workshops in refugee shelters and other stories from a new Europe, um, by Ali Fitzgerald. So I don't know like exactly what it is if, if, if Ali is speaking to people and then like, you know, kind of writing the things down and, um, illustrating it, but it's about refugees in Berlin. And then I got Parable of the Sower by Octavia E. Butler, which I'm really excited about. I love these covers and these editions. So, um, yes, obviously I will, I don't know, I'll probably read this before I buy Parable of the Talent, but I think that's what it's called, right? boop a -doop. I'm not a huge butler head, if you couldn't tell. Um, it's a ca casual at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited and I really love these covers. Um, then I purchased Addis, Addis Ababa Noir, edited by Maza Mengiste, who is the author of The Shadow King, this, this one. Um, and so these are uh, tales that take place in Ethiopia. I'm pretty, pretty sure, but you know. Ooh, wow, nice. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So there's like a whole noir series. Oh my gosh. Trinidad noir, Toronto noir, Tel Aviv noir, Tehran noir, Tampa Bay noir. Because who didn't need a Tampa Bay noir collection? Anyways, so this is, um, you know, and then there's a little uh, map. That's super fun. I am really into this. Oh yeah, so this I think is for next month for Invisible Cities as well. And then I have Tentacle um, by Rita Indiana, translated by Aki Obehas, I think. Um, and this is an and other stories book. I think a lot of the times when I'm stuck in these positions where it's like, I'm I'm really not purchasing because like I need something. I'm purchasing because it's something special like Indie Bookstore Day. Um, I tend to like gravitate towards specific publishers and you know, I, I try to buy things that I still know that I'm going to enjoy. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm excited about that. And then I'm very, very excited for the trans, um, the transmigration of bodies by Yuri Herrera translated by Lisa Dillman. I read, um, oh my gosh, why can't I remember uh, books right now? This is so depressing. My brain is so tired. Like you guys don't even know. I'm going to do a, uh, a, a video very shortly a, an update video and I will explain my life <laughs> because it's just a mess and you'll probably see that before you see this video anyways although maybe I'll just upload this really fast I don't know anyways uh you know his other book that's really popular that I read okay um I also got um number issue number 120 of Ziziva which is a literary journal that I am neglecting um because that's how I roll and I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of this art because I mean you're intrigued I assume based on that. Uh look at that. Who who is this artist? Um Dave McClinton. I feel like that name is very very familiar and I should know it. Um, but yeah, wow, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about there too. And then I got this book in, um, my Finney by Post. Did I not get a literati book that month? I don't know. Boop. I don't know. Um, but this is my Finney by Post book. It is, um, The Auberge of the Flowering Hearth uh, by Roy Andres de Groot and this is a like uh uh like a food food type memoir but then it also is um a recipe book at the end so, like the first half of his memoir I think and then the other half is um uh is a cookbook and then my friend Mari who uh used to post on booktube I don't know if she does too much anymore um but she gave me this book which I'm really excited about she said that she thought it was more up my alley um love and color mythical tales from around the world retold by Bolu Babalola um and this is an arc she works at a library so I assume she got 
arch because of that. I don't know. We have been drinking when she gave it to me, so I don't know if she told me anything else other than that. <laughs> other than she thought that I would like this um, because I think it's just like a very literary, or like not very literary, but it's like a, you know, she's more into like the sci-fi horror type stuff. So she, she thought I would like this. I'm very, very appreciative. I'm very excited. And I did want to mention I got a couple of cookbooks too. Don't look ahead of my my stacks that I need to, you know, deal with. Um, I did want to mention my um, partner's sister, Joanna. She got me this for Christmas. She just happened to bring it kind of um, late because, you know, things happen. Um, it's vegetarian Chinese soul food. So I'm super pumped about that. Uh, deliciously doable ways to cook greens, tofu, and other plant-based ingredients. And this is by um, Xiao Ching Chu. Uh, again, forgive my pronunciation. Uh, my only problem is I I hate tofu, so that's like main reasons I can't be like vegetarian. I hate tofu, I hate beans, but I, I can try, you know? The key is to try. Um, and then I also got this one mostly, um, I think because, let me see, where were we just at? I have like been so, so bad. Madagascar, we were just in Madagascar maybe. But we're gonna be in, we're in Mozambique right now. So um, there is a, it has different chapters from different countries. It's a cookbook and I'm so excited. And at the very beginning, let me see if I can find the beginning of a section. So for example, Mozambique. And then it has um, a little kind of like introduction. The, I mean, the photographs are beautiful. The book smells kind of like a, a newly printed book and it's making my, my nose twitch. Um, it's got a little intro. Look, there's a kitten, cute. And then, let's see, then they have the, the women who, who, uh, who submitted recipes. Um, so it, you know, gives, there's like some questions, kind of like a little mini interview and then like which recipes are hers. And then there's a couple of women usually, and then they'll do um, the recipes. So I am really excited about that. And then, um, the last one, I think this was because of Indie Bookstore Day too. I think I bought this from, uh, what is it called? Food, the food larder, uh, food larder. Um, and it is real Vietnamese cooking and yeah, I'm basically just trying to have a cookbook from every country in the world, which is really not that smart of an idea especially not for my wallet <laughs> anyways I am trying to be better which you probably can't tell based on all the books that I already bought this month please don't look at me um but yeah so that's that's the things I'm gonna have to find more books to get rid of because I got too many books last month so uh, let me know if you've read any of these let me know if you also have the same problem that I have which I'm sure that most of you do um and I will catch you guys later hopefully a little bit more coherently yeah mm -hmm.